and welcome to This Week in Week Entertainment. I'm your host, Franklin Nash. Now our top story. Justin Bieber was spotted this week in China being hoisted up and carried on the shoulders of his bodyguards while they reached the top of the Great Wall. And unfortunately, he wasn't being sacrificed to the gods of decent music. Some people feel the weight of the whole world on their shoulders while Bieber's bodyguards felt the weight of a little girl on their shoulders. Unfortunately for everyone, they failed to successfully toss the Biebs over the edge of the Great Wall, in turn rescuing humanity from the throngs of future horrible Bieber tracks. In more music news, in an interview this week with a Boston radio station, Pop superstar Britney Spears claims that she is being pushed too far and under a lot of pressure to make very sexy videos. In a related story, Miley Cyrus claims she is being forced to wear way too many clothes and is under a lot of pressure to go away and stop scaring all the parents and small children. In Keeping Up news, are you keeping up? Lamar Odom says he has been sober for five days now and can kick his drug and alcohol addiction without the help of rehab. All Odom has to do is pretend he didn't marry Khloe Kardashian, and he won't feel the urge to drink or pick up the crack pipe. In other news, Ray Parker Jr., best known for writing and performing the Ghostbusters theme song, has filed a lawsuit claiming that he was entitled to 75% of the gross receipts produced by that song. Ray said that he knew he was getting screwed over because there was something strange in the neighborhood and he didn't know who to call. Finally, Eddie Van Halen is suing a contracting company for damages to his home after a failed remodel led to water and mold damage at his mansion. Eddie was so distraught over the damage that he could be seen standing on top of the world. And then he thought, might as well jump, jump! Go ahead, jump, jump! But don't worry. He didn't jump, jump! No, he didn't jump, jump! This has been This Week in Week Entertainment. I've been your host, Franklin Nash, and may tomorrow find you well. And today, find tomorrow. In more music news, in an interview with 